everyone. Maybe it's just the time of year, but I've been reflecting a lot, so here's another video with some thoughts. A while ago I made a video about abandoning goals when they no longer make you happy, and I'm still thinking about that a lot, and I wanted to expand a little bit on that. I don't know if I've ever really talked about it on here, but my career path for the last, like, seven years has been towards starting a PhD. This is still something that I would love to do. Um, I've worked as an assistant for a research group. It's completely what I'm interested in. It's what I want to do with my life. I can see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Um, I love research. I love educating. I love teaching. And I love learning. But it's also very, very stressful and very hard work. And I'm just not completely sure if I'm ready for that. I work my ass off during college, during graduate school, and at my job, and it's just something, you know, there's always someone to impress, a teacher, a professor, your boss, your, even your co-workers, and it's very stressful. Recently I've just come to realize that during all of that, I've been really close to breaking a lot of times, and that's not very healthy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love what I do. I loved college, I love graduate school, I love my job, but it's, sometimes it just gets a little too much. Now my contract ended and I am now looking for something else. So I've been doing interviews for PhD positions and it's been a good experience, to be honest. I mean, I haven't found anything yet, but I've met so many interesting people that are really nice and engaging, but I've also noticed that I don't really feel like I belong, and I wonder if it's just me, if my heart isn't in it right now because of all the realizations that I've had, that it's so stressful and that, you know, it's not always a healthy environment for me, and because of that stress I felt like, I feel like it's sometimes holding me back from growing as a person. So in the meantime, I've started another job, a new job, and it's very different. It's um, far below my capabilities, considering my education, um, but it's a job in manual labor in a factory, and it's an experience. It's a job anyone can do. I'm pretty sure there are people um, that do not have a high school diploma that work there, um, but it's it's actually kind of fine. It doesn't pay amazingly well, but the people are nice. There's always something to do. You're never bored. But at the same time, the best part of it is that it's not stressful at all. And it feels nice to just do your work, finish your tasks, but never feel like you have to impress people or that you're wondering whether your best is even good enough, you know? And it's just for a while. I'm not stopping applying for jobs that are actually in line with my career or with my education. But it's nice to veer off the main road and sort of take a trail off the side for a little bit. It's nice to have room to breathe. So I was feeling a little bit, you know, ashamed maybe for a while, um, you know, doing this job or... Because, you know, I've worked so hard to get where I am and... I felt like doing a job that requires so little skill is something that I should be ashamed of and it's a huge step, like a step back. And maybe in terms of like my professional point of view, yes, it is a step back. But from a personal perspective, taking this step back feels like a really big step forward. It's like a step forward toward accepting that life doesn't always go as you want it to go and the freedom that I can find in that knowledge, knowing that I'm still gonna be fine and I have infinite paths, as Jenna Marbles says, and that's something that I'm starting to believe in more and more now. I'm not sure why I'm telling you all of this, um, but I hope that you can sort of learn something from this or take something away from this because I've often felt like when things don't go as planned it feels like the end of the world um, and I'm, the older I get the easier it becomes to understand that it really isn't um, and 
there will some, be something else that will come onto your path, even if it's something that you're like, but I didn't work this hard to do that. But there is some kind of lesson to be learned from everything that you that happens to you, basically. And I feel like that's happening to me right now, so I wanted to share that. And I'm just learning that peace is to be found even in the shittiest situations. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time.